Hey you guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, what are we going to do today? We are going to start getting uh, some of the cells that we need for individual cells. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to start with low security near the entrance so that um, basically when you walk into prison town. Uh, by the way, the response for this has been pretty good actually. Um, I didn't think it was uh, necessarily something a lot of the current subscribers might like, but uh, I've gotten a fairly good amount of response from it. So. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of lay out sort of the the main road where all the major traffic is going to happen. Um, so that's going to come out of the reception door. And I think this is going to be like a, a big, thick pathway here. So let's try uh, uh, about four wide. And we'll just kind of bring it out like, I don't know, maybe like that. That would be five wide. Yep, totally is. Let's get rid of one of those. Like that. Okay, so that'll be like the main sort of highway-ish, if you will. Uh, of course, there's no drivers or anything, but. Uh, and then, how about we have, this is where the water pump is. Probably gonna want a building to be kind of like in this area, so. Actually, it'll probably be closer to this size or something. I don't know. So let's say the highway goes... Uh, let's say the rest of the road goes this way. And once again, that is five. Okay. All right, so that's just sort of like a, a blueprint of where this big pathway will be. And we'll have, we'll have a bunch of trees. We'll have a bunch of like recreation stuff out there. Prisoners can, you know, they don't have to be in the yard to go and lift weights or whatever. We'll have... Um, I think as much as possible a lot of free time that keeps them in a good mood usually so um, okay so how are we gonna do this let's say let's say we have the low security cells like we'll start like a we'll have like four different neighborhoods uh, or like three different neighborhoods I guess to start out we'll have uh, the low security neighborhood if you will we'll have the medium security neighborhood which will probably be the, the vast majority of this area uh, the vast majority of this map and then we'll have sort of a high security neighborhood because some of the medium security people will create trouble they'll get into fights they'll get additional charges on them maybe they'll kill somebody and they'll get upgraded to maximum security they'll get upgraded to to high security i mean so like we'll need a a little maximum security area too but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna kind of Maybe not expand super fast or anything, but no, it kind of depends on what our budget is. So right now we're, we're making $1,000 a day, which is pretty nice. Okay, so how about we do, let's see, um, how far out do we want to go? Probably like, maybe there-ish? There might be nice. So let's start there. Uh, yep, I need to, I want the pathway back. All right, so we'll do like maybe here and I don't know. How big do we want this thing? Well, let's figure out what size our cells are first. Now, I think we're gonna do for low security, I think we'll have them share uh, rooms. We'll have like double double beds and stuff and sharing rooms. Uh, and I think, because I, I was mentioned or I, I remember seeing, is it on the room list or? I thought I remembered seeing shared cells somewhere. Uh, it is in quick build. Yeah, shared cell. And shared cells are five by six. Okay, so I think if we plan this out and we do like, uh, oh dear, how, how far out was I? I think I was 19 out of the wall. So how about it's like right there? So I think if we do like an 11 by, let's say, I don't know, 31. Let's try that. If we do like an 11 by 31, that should make five by six cells. So one, two, three on the inside and then the wall. And then one, two, th or one, two, three, four, and then a wall. Yeah, so four by three cell areas, five by six total uh, footprint because of the walls. So if I just stretch this out and go one, two, three, one, two, three, wall. Uh, might as well go all the way down actually. One, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. Uh, 
Okay, so we have a little bit of extra space here. So what I might do actually is take this wall away and just add one row to it. And then uh, we can make this a row of solitary. Okay, so we've got uh, how many cells? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 cells, each with double beds. So we'll be able to hold 28 low security prisoners in this one little unit, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, so this little neighborhood, if you will, is probably going to have other buildings too. So let's say we have another building like, is it 10, 11? I'm not sure what I'm going to use this yet, but actually let's have this be their canteen where they eat. Yeah, so is this big enough? I, think I might want it a little bit bigger. Maybe like that. Uh, and then we'll put in a small kitchen here. Uh, and then, actually, I might need this bigger. What's the requirements for a kitchen? Uh, kitchen. It doesn't have a, a, a size requirement. Okay, good. I don't need a size requirement, then I won't use one. Okay. Uh, and then, how about, let's see. So we have the kitchen, the canteen for them, and then we need other stuff that goes with it, too. Like a yard, for example, it might be nice for them. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one big yard and they're just gonna like alternate they'll use it at different times uh, that seems better to me than investing in multiple yards at least between low and medium security that sounds like a good idea to me uh, when we get to high security people though um, we're going to have everything be completely dedicated to them they'll have their own stuff all the time and I won't need to worry about them mixing with the other prisoners at all so that will be completely segregated. But I think medium and low can probably be segregated a little bit more loosely, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, oh, actually, what's my piping doing? Okay, good, so the piping runs into the canteen, awesome. I don't want the big pipe to be with the cells because then they can just, you know, they can try to, when they try to escape, they'll just escape um, through the tunnel or through the pipe and they'll just walk their way out to the pipe, which is not, not good. Speaking of walking their way out to the pipe, probably should do this. And I'm not sure how this works. I've never actually had anyone like escape through, uh, let's leave the doorway. I've never actually had anybody escape through this before. Like I've never seen that happen before, but uh, like where the prisoners come out of the pipe and they're in here and then they can escape. I've never seen it happen but I hear that it can. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Uh, let's also put a staff door there. All right, let's run it a little bit on real time. Let things kind of go. We have some, uh, some stuff that these guys have to do yet. We've got some electrical cables they gotta run to the refrigerators or the freezers. What is this, is this a freezer? I think it's a, just called a refrigerator, right? I, it, doesn't say, it doesn't give me the name. Okay. Well, it's right over here. It's a fridge. Okay. I, I mean, I figured it was a fridge, but like, what do we do for freezers? Don't we freeze any of our food ever? No? Uh, two sinks, two stoves, and three uh, refrigerators, which is good. We also have a waste basket here for trash and all that stuff is good. Um, this is going to be a storage area here. So I could probably get this built too. Let's make this a concrete structure. Uh, we'll do it like, hmm, I think we'll just do it like this. And then we'll also have a staff door uh, here. And I'm forgetting how to move the things around. Actually, you know what? It shouldn't be there. It should be here. It should be down a little lower. Let's do that. And then we'll also have a staff door here. Okay, and then for the time being, uh, we'll just put a fence here. Oh, I can't put one there. Well, we'll put one here then. We'll just put a fence like uh, like this to keep people uh, to keep people from being able. To, so they have to go through the kitchen. They have to go through this staff door, this staff door, and this staff door in order to get out. There's well, this one here. So there's three doors they have to go through, which is which is good. Okay, so this building here can get built, uh, and then we'll designate this as a storage area. 
so they can uh, you know put stuff in there and then they'll have all this stuff all these deliveries and stuff that comes in on the trucks will all be in this little room and they can then get around easier now they're not gonna have like this walled off right like right away so they can like get out but um, the staff can get out like the workers and stuff they can get out if they're building the fence up yep building up that fence good so now if the prisoners do get through the pipe and they end up like getting through the water station here um, at least if, if they can pop out the side and, and then run away at least they'll have to uh, they'll be popping out with a fence around them so they'll kind of be trapped at that point and that's that's kind of the point now they might be able to uh oh are they in the yard or are they just trapped I don't have any I need another guard in the yard but see the thing is I don't have the chief yet so I can't tell them to stay put they're just gonna wander and do whatever they want which is not particularly good. Let's go to bureaucracy. Uh, finance has two hours left, and then security. That's when I get the chief. I can uh, do that from there. So we'll have to wait. Uh, they can only do one at a time. So finance has to finish, and then security has to finish. Okay. Well, let's get these. Uh, let's get these cells going. I think the low security plate plate people uh, can't talk. I think the low security people will do with brick. We'll just kind of do that, and then we'll lay this out like this. Um, and then I need them to be able to get through. I need the staff to be able to get through temporarily to kind of do their job. So I'm going to put a staff door right here, and that's going to allow them to kind of get through easily. I mean, they can already walk around, but I think it might be faster for them to kind of take the supplies and move through. Um, and actually, let's go and put another door here, too, just in case whatever route they want to take, they can, they can do it. I did tell them to build this, right? I feel like I did. Let's speed this up. They're starting on this one first, though. Have they just decided not to build this or something? I don't know. Maybe they already have the supplies. Look at them go. I'm going to be expanding pretty quickly. I think I'm going to hire another workman. Get, get, new things. get things done. Another truck coming in with another delivery. All right, now these need entrances, which is understandable. So I can still see my guidelines. So I know kind of where I want my doors and stuff to be. So I'm gonna have a jail door. Um, let's say on this side, let's go there, uh, uh, there. Uh, there. Yeah, we'll just kind of do like this. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of like that. Bam, like that. All right, so that should be enough doors <laughs> for all the cells. We're also going to want a door to the canteen. So let's put in uh, objects. A large jail door here in the middle. Right in the middle. Uh, and then we also want a staff door to the kitchen, which will be over there. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe we provide a way for the staff to get out. And I'm thinking maybe we provide a way for the staff to get out. Um, kind of maybe back here like this. Uh, so they can enter and exit this whole area without having to go through the prisoners. But Because uh, I might have a staff room back here and that might make it easy for them. So let's just kind of do that as well. Okay, so all these doors are like ready to rock. I am going to have one door gonna be this one I'm gonna lock this door open so no matter what happens the staff who are trying to build all this stuff can get in and out of here and then I'm gonna have them construct the walls in a way to where they can always get to any cell uh, which means basically leaving the center wall unfinished for now so uh, let's go ahead and go brick wall and we'll just kind of go like this I'm gonna leave this side unfinished so they can get in here if they want to um, 
And actually, I'll finish that one. And then we'll just kind of do this. And now they can get into every single cell to basically stock them with supplies. In the future, I think it might be way easier if I just don't put the jail doors in until I'm ready. I think that's probably what I'll do. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. So we'll just kind of do that. They'll build those up. And now I need... Um, I'm going to designate these as cells, so I'm going to need beds. Now there's a bunk bed. I think the bunk bed is what's used for the double cells. It costs more than twice as much for the bunk bed. Hmm. Alright, we'll put the bunk bed there, there, there. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh no, forgot about budgets. That's alright. It's okay, we're gonna make money. Cool. Uh, we will need power to this area. And uh, electrical cables are gonna be uh, not the easiest thing in the world to run since we're low on funds. Now we have no money. <laughs> in 12 hours we will receive, um, we're gonna be receiving, what is it, eight, eight prisoners in 11 hours now. And that will get us a total of $3,800. So we'll be able to work with that from there. Uh, all I need to do now is hire an accountant and I get 10 grand. Uh, I think. Yeah. So like that will be a good amount of money too. I just need to hire an accountant for that. I also need to have a visitor's area eventually because uh, we have one family waiting to visit. So families come come and visit the, the prisoners. And a lot of times families will bring contraband with them and that's no good, so. But, um, I'm not super concerned about that at the moment since we only have such a few amount of prisoners, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna need to put metal detectors at the entrance as well. But that is for later. This is not the most secure of prisons. Look at this front door. It can't close because there's something in the way. Not the most secure prison. Nope. We got all the walls built. Uh, and all the, these beds here are installed. That's good. But we're kind of short on cash. So I kind of let got to let this play out until we have money. $38 cash flow. Is that enough to extend my I'm gonna have it go in here and have it go through there and we'll have electrical cables running power's looking good we got to keep it below the final hash mark I think part of the events thing that we activated, um, we turned on events for the for this playthrough. I think part of those, or like some of those events, are like power stations blowing up and stuff. So uh, I think that the chance of that happening is increased. What is going on with this? It contains a door. Let's dump that. Let's get rid of that. It's in the way. The world is wrong with people leaving things in the middle of our front door. Come on. I think it's just that they're busy. Like, they don't have a whole lot to do. There it goes. Yeah, we'll close now. All right, so now we've got a whole... Like, the place is getting pretty dirty, right? It's not a very clean place. We're going to need to worry about cleaning the place up in a bit. Uh, their laundry also is... We have a whole bunch of dirty clothes, and that's going to make them not too happy. The fact that they're in... Um, like clothes that are really dirty is not a good thing. Also, we need a staff break room because these guys are tired and that makes them really ineffect ineffective. So, kind of got to worry about that too. We got 123 in cash. Let's get this electrical connection sorted out. It'll take care of the electricity for, well, it'll almost take care of the electricity for this. And I need to hire an accountant, and I'm pretty sure that's going to cost me a bunch of money. Yeah, I need to hire... She costs 
uh, no, she doesn't cost five hundred dollars. She costs a thousand, I think. Staff, accountant, a thousand plus two hundred per day. Okay, let's pause this for a second. Let's see if we can go. We're making a pretty good amount of money per day, so let's see if we can. Uh, can we can we get a bank loan? Is that something we can do, or do we need to have an accountant before we can do that? I think we need the accountant before we can do that. That's lame. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're not like short on cash in the sense that we're going to be like really hurting for things. I mean, as soon as it, like the morning, when the morning happens in four hours and five hours, um, we'll get more prisoners and then we'll have enough to hire the accountant and then we'll get the grant money and then we can continue from there. So it's not the end of the world, but I was definitely not the most efficient. <laughs> you can, this is the part where people who've played this game can look at me and go, yeah, we know that you're not, uh, we know that you haven't played in a while, Charlie. You know. We, we can see that you haven't played in two years, um, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this done, and it's gonna be fine as long as we can get things happening in the next uh, three hours and thirty seven minutes, thirty two minutes, thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay, that ought to work for plumbing. Just went ahead and put in the plumbing while we're uh, waiting for our prisoners to come in. I'm gonna run the pipes through the the middle wall here, and then just kind of little branches out. Uh, it saves a lot more money as, as in comparison to like running them individually like that. So there they go, installing the utilities. We got one hour until our prisoners show up. Here we go. This will connect, get connected to the big pipe here. Now the prisoners can't. So they can't walk through the little pipes, so. And actually, this is gonna be connected to their toilets. I'm thinking also we're gonna need showers, so how about we, uh, do we need two toilets for a double? I don't think so. I think we'll be fine with just the, just the one. So let's actually extend these pipes out a little bit, and we'll put a shower right next to the toilet. I'm gonna have showers uh, in the individual rooms because it, greatly reduces uh, fighting. You get all the prisoners together in a big shower area, they tend to, they can fight a lot. So if I put showers in individual cells, it'll cost just a little bit more, but um, like a little bit more per cell, but it, I think it's worth it. And then we put drains uh, in front of the doors. So all the doors will get drains in front of them. Maybe it's not there. Maybe it's actually on the door. I think we're going to put it right on the door, like underneath the door. And this will prevent the water from the shower from leaving the room. Yeah, that's how we'll do that. Okay, so we, I'm going to pause it right here. We have 3,500. Our prisoners have showed up. They're... They're getting their strip searched and all this stuff here. They're making we're making sure that they're all right. Uh, now I need an accountant, so let's hire an accountant to manage our finances. There we go. We have the accountant now. Let's take a look at our budgets and stuff here. Finance. All right, so we're making sixteen oh two a day. Pretty cool, man. Gotta say, pretty cool. Uh, grants. We don't have a bank loan. But we have additional grants that we can accept, including cell block A. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Oh yeah, well we're definitely gonna do that, it'll be easy. So let's just take that grant, that's gonna get us a bunch of money. And now we'll be able to, uh, now we'll be able to do some great stuff with this. So we've got our cell block going up, that's cool. And um, canteens down here, they, they, they eat through here, they get foods cooked in the kitchen. And for now, though, they're just gonna hang out in the holding cells. And uh, that means like they're okay with the holding cells. They're just not that happy because they're not, you know, they don't have their own cells and stuff. They don't necessarily like the the, the privacy part of things. Uh, if I look at this guy's rap sheet, can I see his experience? Uh, character grading. Yeah, punishment is 10. What does that mean? Uh, 40 points, what does that mean? 200% of stay lockup. Grading how well the prisoner has been punished for their crimes as perceived by the public. 
Serving a long term in prison is the foundation of a strong punishment. But hard times, locked up, done. Oh, <laughs> can't read. But hard times locked up alone will also count towards it. Keep in mind that too, uh, much reform or free time will be seen as soft on crime and will count against their punishment grade. A strong punishment score will deter the prisoner from reoffending after release. Okay, so if I have them a lot of free time, then they might they might <laughs> they might feel like yeah, prison's not so bad. <laughs> I get it. Reform. Um, a grading of how well you have attempted to reform or rehabilitate the prisoner through the use of reform programs. Okay, so I need to increase this to 10 as well. Uh, security, it's good. You've been 200% uh, of stay lockup, I guess, is my security score. Uh, a low score indicates the prisoner simply continued their criminal existence once inside your prison. Okay, so this guy has basically been like, okay, I'm sorry, I made a crime, I, I won't do it again, and he's been very, very good throughout his time here. Um, he's not super healthy, but he's also not, like, not healthy. Well, how long has he been here? He's been here one hour. <laughs> well, okay then. So that's not exactly the, the best of indications. What did he do? Kidnapping? Well, I don't know how he would continue his crime inside prison, but he's a kidnapper. Okay. I wonder who he kidnapped. Like, this, the phrase kidnapped implies that he, he, like, took a kid, but it's not really that. Why didn't you go just... What? Why didn't you just go through the open door? That's why I left the door open. Silly people. Why aren't you going through the open door? Okay, well, we will continue this. I'll, I'll get this built. Basically, what's going to happen here is I'm going to take uh, toilets and put them kind of like this on all the walls like this. Uh, then we'll flip them around and put toilets like this. Yeah. So they'll have a toilet in every single cell and then a shower. Now, I'm looking at the hot water pipe thing and I think that goes with showers for showering. So shower with hot water makes your prisoners happier. Hmm. Now there's extra cost in that because I need a hot water pipe. Can I lay the hot water pipe on top of the regular pipe? Can I, can I, like, can I stack them? It looks like I can. Um, man, it's, it just doubles the cost of the piping though, doesn't it? We might have community showers for medium security. I'm thinking low sec is probably fine. Uh, but we might have community showers because having two sets of pipes doesn't seem very economical to me. Let's go ahead and lay down the hot water pipes though. And we'll uh, extend those out to the same as they were before. What the other pipes are. And we will give them hot showers in low security. Inside their cells. Which is just kind of pointless really. Because like the low security people aren't really the risk of fighting. Hmm. Okay, well, we already kind of laid it in, so whatever. We might change and renovate the whole place later, I don't know. Uh, the cool thing about Prison Architect is that, like, you dismantle the stuff, right? You don't just dump it, I mean, you can, but, like, you dismantle it. So if I have to rebuild the whole structure and restructure how I want this building, and I have to take out all the pipes and take out all the beds and toilets and all that stuff, it, it, I don't lose that stuff. It goes into storage, which is why I'm gonna have like these big storage areas. It goes into storage, um, which you know I can reuse that stuff later without having to pay for it again. So that's good. That's how that works. Uh, so the last thing I'm gonna do, I guess, for this episode is just lay in the showers. So uh, we're just gonna put showers like that. And like that. All right, and then the double beds. I'm gonna have to put more of those in, so. Grab double bed, double bed, and double bed. And then we'll lay in these ones too. These are expensive. But this is our, this is our prisoner capacity increase, so we're gonna get money for that back, so that's fine. I think we're almost ready to have 
sort of our... I think we're almost ready to make this the thing, like actually have this be done. These guys are going to use this canteen uh, for now, because like it's already built and established. This might end up being something different later on. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. This canteen, I don't even know if this will end up being a canteen. This might actually be a decent visitor area. Although I kind of wanted the visitor area here. Which is another thing we have to do, actually, is create a visitor area. I'm wondering if it's a... Uh, if I take uh, visitation, if I just make this visitation right now, uh, what's needed? Just just a visitor's table and a visitor booth. Okay, so there's visitor's tables and visitor booths. Visitor table here. Yeah, that's the only thing that's necessary. So I, I can put one, let's say, like... Let's have the prisoners up against the wall. I like that idea. Uh, and then we'll leave a, a little bit of a space. Yep, like that. And then something like, maybe like that. You know what, that'll be fine. That's fine for visitors right now. It's actually way more than we need, but it'll, it'll do. And then we can accept the visitation grant that goes with visit, or the, the grant that goes with visitation, and we'll get money for that later on. So that's good. It doesn't look like these guys are, uh, you know, gonna fight or anything. It looks like they're gonna get along all right. That's good. They're not very dangerous, I guess. Uh, let's also get let's get a path going on here. Now, certain materials increase the speed at which people can move. Uh, and this big road here, we're gonna want fast movement on big, big road. So it's like a, like yeah, the fastest possible movement through the surface. So I'm thinking like concrete tiles is fast, a concrete floor is fast, gravel is slow, paving stone is fast. I'm thinking paving stone is the way to go here. So if I just come up to here, wow, a thousand, okay. If I lay the paving stone to here, then everything will be able to move really quickly through here. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing with this and uh, and this, but uh, we're gonna need to get the fence out of the way first. I'm actually gonna extend this fence to be uh, here now. But let's do that after we break down the fence, actually. So let's uh, let's break down. Is this fence all the way around? It is. Okay. So let's break down this fence. go and then I can break down um, well they can't get out this way so like as, as long as I can't go this way it's probably fine hmm Man, I gotta wait until this is I gotta wait until these guys are done so these cells are pretty much ready except for the wall so we're just gonna take and make sure that this wall is complete now so as soon as these guys are done building that no, this wall's not complete, actually. So let's take it out to... They're not quite done with the pipes yet. I want them to get done with the pipes so that I don't have to deal with the doors opening. And the showers and things like that. Yeah, okay. See, like, this guy's waiting for this door to be open. Yeah, this, this wall actually isn't... Uh, oh, we have rain! Well, we did say weather, right? We did turn weather on. That's something new. I've never played Prison Architect with rain before. I wonder what the effects are of that. What's the effects of rain on, on like prisoner population and stuff? Like, if these guys are going to be walking outside the whole time, which is kind of why I wanted to do like the outdoor movement prison, the the open and open air and stuff prison because of the weather. I wanted to see kind of what that would how that would affect the prisoners. So I'm not sure. Um, so this this wall here has not been uh, it's not been told to be built. So we need to do that. These things are almost done. Uh, really, the only thing that's missing is this shower head and this toilet and this bed. So everything in this everything in this cell is missing. So hopefully they get that done. Yep, there's the toilet. Here comes the bed. And. There's the shower, so that's done now. So we'll just kind of 
complete the wall. And then these will be done and we'll have cells. We'll have legit cells once these walls are done. Now I need to... Uh, let's, let's have them uh, lock this open, lock this open, lock this open, lock this open, and lock this open. Now they should be able to build... They should be able to build this wall without having to worry about these these now because of that. So, oh, I also need to do this wall here, like that. And then this will be solitary. So we, we kind of need solitary to happen too. So what I should do is actually put one solitary door, at least one. Maybe we'll just do two for now. I think that's probably good. Um, and then we'll have the walls built like that. And like that. Oh, but then there won't be any. Oh, then there won't be any way of getting in there. So we'll have another door, I guess. Another solitary door. There. Block, no root. You can do that. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So we got the wall built. Looks like it. I wonder what this workman's doing. Is he stuck in the wall? I think he's stuck. I'm gonna sack him. All right, so these cells are done. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and not have them locked open. And then uh, we need to extend this fence out so that they can't get out later. Uh, so I've broken that down. That means I have a couple of things for fencing for free. Uh, we're going to want to disassemble this. Are they sleeping right now? It's late at night. Okay, they're in the bunks and they're going to be sleeping now. Okay, that's good. So. Hmm. Now these guys are awake. These are just lock up. Okay, so it's not sleep time. But if they're awake during sleep time, then they'll start digging through the toilets and they might end up um, making a tunnel. I think what I should do here is do a shakedown. So let's have everything searched. Make sure there's no tunnels being dug. Okay. We, we're going to need a staff room pretty quick because people just keep resting and they're not, they're tired, they don't want to work anymore. Oh no. Oh, we got some shears? Ooh, people trying to sneak it in through the food supply. Yep, see? We got needles. Oh, man. What's in the cells? Who's going to... See, the thing is, I don't have a solitary cell ready to go. I, I have these, but, like, they're not... Uh, so, like, if they somebody does get caught with contraband, they're going to need a solitary cell, and I don't have one built. Maybe I could do it, like, here. I could do solitary cells here, right? I don't see a problem with that. Let's build a concrete, let's do that. Let's build concrete to here. Uh, let's make sure the, the walls are good. Yep, wall placement's good. Let's do that. And then we'll have um, a solitary door there. And we'll have, a, at least we'll have the ability to give them solitary right now, so that's good. All right, so we found a cell phone, drugs. No tunnels yet though, that's good. So like this guy here, he is, he had something found on him and he, requ he requires solitary confinement, right? Uh, he really wants sleep though, which you know what? You should have thought of that before you tried to sneak in shears or whatever you were trying to sneak in. Um, this guy's tired, let's open this door. Let's let him out. Now, this is gonna end up being solitary, so I'm going to go to rooms. Uh, where is it? Solitary confinement, there it is. This is gonna be solitary, this is gonna be solitary. Those are our two solitary cells. Then, we're gonna need uh, the fencing again. We're gonna need the fencing. So let's, let's actually dismantle this fencing right here, all the way up to here. Yeah, let's just dismantle all of this. Okay. That's going to leave them locked in through here. 
and they can get out through here, but they can't, they're gonna actually get out through this way. So now I need to put the fence, I need to put a fence there. And I need, ooh, there's back doors here. Well, we're not gonna let them back there yet, so it's okay. Um, let's have the fence kind of come out like this. I'm gonna wait till they dismantle this before I start making more so that I have spare fencing. There we go. So that will keep them in place. Um, we're not gonna fill these cells yet, so we'll just keep these cells open and then they won't be able to get out. Um, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, because they'll be trapped in through there. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, they're still locked in. Okay. I was going to end this episode like 10 minutes ago, guys. What happened? <laughs> We're just getting long episodes. Like, I feel like this is like... Uh... Yeah, I feel like we're just going to make this into two. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I just noticed that we're... In six hours, we're actually going to be getting a lot of prisoners, and I'm not ready for that yet. So let's close that down. We'll only take a couple of low sec right now. Because our capacity is not, we're not ready for this yet. So uh, I am going to need like a bigger structure. I'm thinking like a big structure here, and that's going to have the medium security people in it. But uh, We'll see. We have one person in solitary confinement, and he has thrown up all over himself. Harvey. Oh, I can't see him anymore because there's no guards in the area. That's okay. Alright, so these need to be designated as cells. These are ready to go. So, uh, so, rooms. Yep, we'll go to rooms. cell and like that then we need to designate like who can be in here and I don't think I'm actually able to do that uh, until I have is it logistics or is it am I able to do that I don't think so um, no, it says it wants a bed. Wait, what? Hold on. You're saying that I need a bed, but like I have a double bed in there. Does that not count as a bed? Wait, what? Does this not count as a bed? 